biggest flying boat to visit Australia, the Hythe puts down in Sydney Harbour five days out from England. Hythe was built by Short Brothers of Sunderland Flying Boat fame and has a 4,000 pound payload. She flies the British and Australian civil aviation flags. Among the passengers are Lady Knowles and Lord Knowles. He is chairman of the British Overseas Airways Corporation. After being welcomed by Qantas officials, he explains the objects of his visit to the Pacific. During my visit here, I'm going to have talks with the boards of Qantas Empire Airways and Tasman Empire Airways as to the development of the England-Australia route and to discuss the best types of aircraft uh, to operate them. And I can assure you that the British manufacturers have got some completely first types already flying and even later ones, more up-to-date ones, uh, which are now on order and I have every confidence uh, that uh, they will be able to produce the right kind of aircraft for all the Commonwealth routes and particularly that uh, from England uh, to Australia and New Zealand. With a special passenger list of Sydney journalists, the Hythe does a spin around Sydney, displaying new standards of aerial comfort. The flying boat's accommodation includes a bridal suite, cocktail lounges and promenade space. There are 16 bunks and 22 armchairs. A powder room takes care of Milady's variations of complexion. As the Hythe wings over Sydney, the journalists see new angles of the city, which is their usual source of copy. They see some amazing sights, including that uh, slightly familiar object below. 